Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing very, a very exciting class, anti-aging yoga. So we'll embark on an anti-aging sequence, which yoga tends to be in general, but we'll focus on very anti-aging poses. And at the end, prepare some oil because we're gonna give our face a little bit of a face massage, a few yoga exercises, a little bit of facial yoga, a little bit of... Uh, massaging the skin and getting everything moving and lifting a facelift all right so remember to flow with strength and ease starting at the middle of your mat <laughs> surprise we're going to start with vacuums after all anti-aging begins with really proper breathing so bring your hands on your knees and give your hips a little swirl moving a little moving the hips moving the core moving the shoulders pull the belly in draw the navel in and move around here And let's exhale and give it a little vacuum, stomach vacuum. And one more time. One last time. And he held the hands over the head, arch. Exhale the hands over the heart, starting with one of the anti-aging exercises here. We're going to open the eyes or keep them open and look over to the right and left, right, left, right, left, up, down, up, down. That can keep all the muscles around the eyes a little younger and also it can keep the vision, our vision, maintaining it and diagonally and the other way the other along the other diagonal and here we're going to bring our hand underneath the chin and relax your upper lip and press your bottom lip and jaw down into the hand resisting with the hand what, does that, what this does is it strengthens all the muscles here and helps with the jowls and the saggy neck. So it involves all these muscles. So you can tap on them and just create that mind body. Tell your, tell your mind which muscles you're going to be working on. Good. So relax the top lip and just press the bottom lip down. Resisting. Pausing. Now, part of anti-aging, obviously, is the mental attitude. So remember to keep your face really relaxed and smiling and just don't carry the imprint of your worries on your face and that is something that we can remind ourselves through the day and repattern the face muscles the way we repattern the 
body muscles through yoga. One last exercise and then we'll begin. So you're going to bring your hands right, right in the base of the eyebrows where the eyebrows end and you're going to place your fingertips gently on there and you try to furrow your eyebrows or create the 11s here but at the same time resist with your hand so you're strengthening that muscle and giving yourself a little bit of a happier look <laughs> really really <laughs> furrow as hard as you can and hold it don't allow it to happen so you're strengthening those muscles. You can do the same with lifting. So hands above the eyebrows and try to lift your eyebrows up. So strengthening the forehead muscles. You can give yourself a little gentle tap around the face with the fingertips, very gentle, bringing circulation in, stimulating all the muscles on the face. Here, in front of the eye, where we're gonna get the lymphatic fluid moving, and that's part of what we'll do at the end is gonna be a little bit of lymphatic drainage because oftentimes what ages us is all the toxins. Um, excess lymphatic fluid and interstitial fluid collecting in the face, not draining properly, um, giving us kind of dull skin and puffy look, looking aged. So if we get everything moving, draining, detoxing, the muscles relaxing, the muscles building, of course we can give ourselves a little bit of a fresher look you can tap right right behind and under the ears we're stimulating all, all the lymph nodes here yeah and also this feels really good it just feels phenomenal it's this fresh type of feel zingy and glide the fingers slightly down the sides of the neck not on the front very uh, very gentle pressure and extremely gentle pressure because the lymph is right underneath the skin and you don't want to stop the drainage you want to stimulate it by very gently massaging down tap here right above the collarbone where the main drainage point for the head is The next, <laughs> the next thing we'll do, which is very anti-aging, is you're gonna hold your mula bandha in. Um, if you have an exercising device, um, you, you can use it. And we're gonna just gently jump what this does. It, it strengthens the pelvic floor, so no bladder issues and leakage and other issues like this. Now you can, if you have really weak pelvic floor, which can happen, um, after birth with age then you're just going to tap your heels very gently so that impact allows you to feel how strong your pelvic floor is that's kind of like laughing sneezing etc that challenges the pelvic floor so here we're strengthening it so pause relax and again mula bandha squeeze 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 this is are the kegel muscles and tap all the jumping we do actually believe it, in it or not if you have moderately strong pelvic floor strengthens it if your pelvic floor is very weak obviously it can weaken it so we have to get to a base level of strength and then the jumping just builds it stronger and release and again All right, from here we're just going to release and tap the heels and move the shoulders back. 
my little sibling and come back to straight upright standing and again back keep tapping and smiling and tap side to side and move the shoulders back so we are going to stimulate lymphatic drainage through the entire body now with the whole body gently tapping we started just here for the head and that can give you a little slimmer more chiseled look a little more of the shoulders all right starting in the front of the mat this was a part of the face technique intro we'll come back to it a little later with the oil so inhale the hands over the head exhale diving down straight back lengthen pull the belly in stop halfway bend the knees and lower down and breathe here you can look over to the left and right that is part of why yoga is so anti-aging is all the inversions and bringing fresh blood to the head and face also reversing the effects of gravity not only on the face on the entire body the spine rejuvenating the heart so just face massage to me is not enough if anyone wants to embark on one of those face massage face yoga it, it's it's good to include the entire body obviously inhale hands on the shin bones look ahead of you exhale plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog spread the fingers wide open Pull the belly in. Remember to smile, to relax the face muscles, to let go of certain ways you hold your face in you can even bring the lips crunch up the lips bring the lips together and move them around in a circular movement so that we're relaxing all, all the face muscles and also flexing them at the same time stretching and flexing great inhale the right leg up open the hip lift drop it behind while thing and back to one legged dog step it through warrior two reverse it exhale the right hand on the outside this time of your right foot and press the right knee into the elbow press 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 here you're going to look down spread the fingers open and glide them behind you straighten the legs and open here flex the feet stretching great now turn the chest down towards the floor flip back onto the onto the toes and the foot the left foot walk your hands outside here stretching 
stretching the hips. Great. And back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the left leg up, lift. And drop it behind. Wow thing. Lifting the hips. And back to one legged down dog, stepping through warrior two. Let's reverse it. Side angle, bring the left hand on the outside of the left leg. You can reach over. And here, let's glide the left hand behind us, straighten the legs. Flex the feet, open here, open the chest, great, turn the chest down towards the floor, both hands on the floor, stretching into the left hip, find the sweet stretchy spot, and plank, spread the fingers wide open, and let's step in and out. 10 times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down onto your elbows and let's step it out 10 more times, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and come back up onto the hands and lower down onto your elbows. Try to keep the hips steady. Come up, lower down, come up, lower down, come up, lower down. Come up, lower down, come up, lower down, come up, lower down, opposite side, I'm changing sides, last one, and, and take down dog. Hmm. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Smile to the at the ceiling. Exhale. Half moon. Stepping back in warrior two. 
lift the heel off the floor, right heel, and lower it down. One, two, three, four, five. Hands in prayer. Right elbow on the inside of the right knee, and use the elbow to open uh, the chest and lengthen the spine. And here we're going to come back up in warrior two, straighten the leg, lengthen the spine and take triangle pose with hands in prayer again. Great, exhale down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. Reverse it. And move into half moon. Stacking everything on top of the joints on top of each other. Flex the foot. Step it back. Hands in prayer. Elbow to inner knee, open here, lengthen. So this elbow really allows you to open the rib cage and lengthen the spine. Feel the length. And coming back up, you can straighten the leg and take a mini down dog, lengthen. Or sorry, triangle. Great, let's release the plank. Here we're going to take the right leg up, pull the belly in, knee tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower onto your elbows and let's go right knee to right elbow. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back up, two, onto the hands, let's go across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, great, here we're going to lower down onto the knees sit back take the left leg forward and we're gonna do half hero pose either sit here if this is your challenging pose sit on a block or on a pillow blanket and you can lower down if it's not a challenging pose for you the tailbone under so that we can really get in great coming back up come onto the right knee straighten the left leg lower the chest over it flex the foot and bring the hands in the center of your mat Straighten the legs, half lunge to the right. And straighten the back, come up, pose here. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, exhale the hands down, plank. Take the left leg up, knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower onto your elbows to the left, triceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back onto the hands across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sit back, and here we're going to take the right leg forward and keeping the left knee bent either stay here or feel free to lower down at your level of moderate challenge moderate stretch Extending the tailbone down. Keeping the knee down. And coming back up, let's lean forward, come onto the left knee, straighten the right leg, lower the chest over, over the leg, extending here, flexing, flex really, flex the foot as hard as you can so that you're stretching the back of the leg effectively. Great, from here, bring your hands on the inside in the center, take a left side lunge, push the booty back, come up and let's pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Step to the front. Straighten the feet. Feet about hip width apart or whatever feels comfortable, and come into a squat. Straighten. Take the tailbone under. Squat. Straighten. Take the tailbone. So we're just going to thighs parallel to the floor so that we're activating the glutes here. When we do the deep ones, we also activate really strongly the quads. So this is a glute squat. Feel it. You can tap, tap the booty. So that you're telling your brain which muscles you're working on. Let's do 10 more. Take a nice stance. Now you can jump if you want to. I'll jump, but feel free to do exactly the same with no jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, hold, 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 dance, hold, dance. Distract yourself from the fact that you're holding a squat with a little Hawaiian. Dance, hold. All right, lower the hands down, step your feet back, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, open the knee. Wild thing. Really pop the chest open. Find length in the lower back, hold it. Great. Reverse it. Down dog, step it through, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Half moon. You can grab your ankle here. Look up if you can. Back to warrior two. Hold it, let the burn happen, sink in a little lower, exhale the hands down, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, knee held the left leg up, open it, Wild thing, a very rejuvenating pose, lengthen the lower back, find length in the lower back. And as if, imagine that someone is placing their hand where your heart is, but on the back side and lifting you there, lifting the chest, widening it. That's the proper adjustment here and one that's really opening all right reverse it step it through warrior two reverse the warrior And half moon. Grab your ankle. Look up if you can. Back to warrior two. Sink a little deeper, open the hip a little more. Feel a burn. Coming out of this, open the feet out, plie, little pulses here. Mm -hmm. 
let's lift the left leg the right the left the right lifting the heels great back to warrior two on the left side five heel lifts one two three four five step at the front and lower down in a yogic squat that's one of the I'm including here all the poses that I feel they're rejuvenating to to our body and face and mind and soul so yogic squat is one of those poses great from here we're going to take crow pose so hands on the ground knees on the triceps leaning forward lifting the heels pull the belly in you can jump into chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog take the right leg up open the knee here there is a theme for this class and the theme is wow thing opening the hip flexors opening the heart lift wow thing lift 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 smile at the ceiling great one legged down dog step it through warrior one feel this warrior quite <clears throat> way stronger than usual because we open the hip flexors here we're going to bring the hands behind us interlace the fingers open the chest look up smile at the ceiling and sometimes just have a smile in your eyes and transition into warrior three hands clasping back to warrior one reach over the head this time we're going to transition to standing half splits with the hands around the ankle either one or both if you trust your balance so sweep forward grab your ankles lift the left leg and back to warrior one and one more time same thing and back to warrior one exhale the hands down step it back plank knees on the ground camel pose we're really opening the hip flexors today exhale down dog inhale the left leg up open wild thing really lift 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 great back to down dog step it through warrior one straight back and yes this warrior this is a warrior one build up sequence because someone requested more of a hero pose yoga class so that's why i'm including a lot of hero pose here or camel pose and poses that open up the hip flexors exhale the hands behind interlace the fingers and feel how much stronger this feels after opening and warming up and transition into warrior three level the hips 
step it back, reach over the head. We're going to do one sweeping motion into standing splits, half splits. And step it back. One more time. Step it back. Exhale down. Plank, knees on the ground. Camel pose. Extending the tailbone down here, working the hips above the knees. So stay here in this alignment and see how far back you can get without having your hips following you back. Exhale. Child's pose. Coming up, let's embark on a deeper hip flexor opening. So sit again, either on a block, pillow, or on the floor between your heels. Now you could also sit on your heels and stay here. Take it at the level you're at. Definitely don't go too far. One, if we go too far for our flexibility level, our muscles contract and then we do the opposite, basically. We don't want to force a stretch. Stretching is one of the things that we want to ease into, relax, soften into, rather than jarringly stretch the muscles because that is aggressive and although it can make you more flexible, it can also lead to injuries because it's essentially not listening to the body or having far too much ambition. <laughs> And I will lay back down, see if you can, stay where you feel it. Keeping the knees down and the tailbone extended slightly. All right, coming back up and coming on to all fours. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the floor, walk your knees right behind the wrists, pendulum the knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk them a few steps back, pendulum, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, put the knees back down on the ground and round the back. The sequence is from my latest hit for flat belly and it's just amazing, rejuvenating, amazing. Those poses, so round the back and draw the belly in and lift the knees off the floor. Scoop everything in and flex and relax, you should feel like 10 out of 10 effort. You can't talk, you can't, you can't breathe through it. You have to really flex. All right, let's go again. Pull the belly in, draw the navel in, round the back. And bring the knees up. A few more of those. And one more. And let's go into down dog. 
Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, open the knee. Wow well, thing. One leg down dog. Warrior one. Revolving half moon, left hand on the floor, right arm up, lifting the back heel. Hands over the heart, warrior three, come up to standing. Left ankle over the right knee, push the body back, sit, sit, feel the hip. Coming out of this, step it back, warrior one. Revolving half moon. Lift, lift, lift. Warrior three. Come up to standing one more time. Sit back, feel it. Coming up, warrior one. Revolving half moon. Warrior three. Open the hip. Step it back, lower the hands on the inside of the right knee, stretching here. Let's keep the left hand on the floor Touch your toes at the front, coming up to standing, and step it back. So one, two, three, four, five, and now walk back into plank, walk forward, one, two, Three, four, and five. Good. Increasing circulation all around the body. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, open. Wild thing. Lift, 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 lift. Smile. All right. One legged down dog. Warrior one. Let's 
level the hips square them let's bring the right hand on the floor revolving half moon lift that back heel up and warrior three come up to standing sit into that hip opener now for the first one you can bring your elbows down and just really feel that right hip opening we're releasing the right knee away from us without forcing it and warrior one A revolving half moon <laughs> two warrior three two a hip opener sit back feel it warrior one revolving half moon I'm trying my best here to ignore the wall it wants to throw my balance off and if I'm focused it doesn't <laughs> all right good warrior three last one let it stretch great step it back and let's lower the hands down lift the back heel up stretch here all right right hand on the inside we're gonna kick the left the right leg sorry to the left hand belly in one straight back two three four and five and now for the next ones we're going to kick and then walk back kick walk into plank two three four five plank hold your plank and here let's do a little knee dance they're not touching the floor they're just dancing in the air one two three four five six seven eight nine ten take a breather and really flex your belly again nine or ten out of ten effort how much you're contracting your core muscles one two three four five six seven eight nine ten knees in front of you a couple of body breath which is really anti-aging because it 
tones the entire system. The core brings circulation to the face. Breathing through the nose, fast. Focus on your, your exhalation at the end of, say, about 30 breaths, but do as many as you obviously can. You're going to lock the breath out and hold it. Now, if you're prone to low blood pressure, dizziness, then do it with an effort that is three out of 10 or something so that you don't get too dizzy. Uh, watch your body and see the level you're, you can go at. If you can take heavy pranayama, then give it a big go. And when you lock your breath out, focus on your third eye and spin it. That will give you that feeling of zing and lightness and just third eye spinning. hands onto your knees round the back and pull the belly in hollow the belly as much as you can arch the back pop the chest forward exhale one more time inhale exhale inhale exhale and back to neutral let's bring the left hand onto the right knee look behind you lengthen through the crown of the head beautiful opposite side lengthen find length all right let's keep the spine young because that's part of you <sighs> extend your legs in front of you keep your heels on the ground your left hip will come off the ground walk your hands behind you and bring your forehead to the floor and feel your spine unwinding from its misalignments opposite side relax into this beautiful a few more twists so left knee on the floor right knee up twist here opposite side double pigeon flex the feet and stack the shin bones on top of each other a common mistake here is to keep the feet inward and the shin bones are at an angle rather than stacking on top of each other so try to keep that alignment and sometimes it means that your knee will be in the air that's okay flex your feet you're protecting your knee that's why you're flexing the feet so the flexing of the feet is really important also it's a energetic point when we keep the energy in the energy vibrating or steady and strong in the energetic points our poses all together come up come together better the entire pose aligns better we bring energy into the meridians and we connect better with the pose we deepen it we align better we feel the alignment so everything matters mindfulness and Mindfulness throughout the practice is so and so important because first and most importantly it empties the mind. You're focusing on how things feel in the present moment. So you're getting your mind out of the past and away from the worry of the future. And you're here experiencing tasting the moment. And then when we're keeping, keeping everything 
fired up, energized. We are aligning better, we're connecting better with the poses, with the muscles. With the energy flow through the body. I'm surprised that that is a foreign concept in Western medicine because it is such an obvious thing. You don't need to be a genius <laughs> to notice the flow of energy in the body. But I think because when in Western medicine everything gets cut off here and most of science is from here up, so we get cut off from everything from here down and we don't feel obvious things. You can lean forward here if you feel like it. All right, let's change signs, shake it out. And flex the feet, stacking the shin bones on top of each other. Don't worry about how far, how deep into the pose you are, it's all good. Drop your circles with your eyes here. And opposite. And you can even stretch your jaw. Flexing the muscles as you stretch. So you're stretching and flexing. It's a good habit to realign the face muscles. And you can move the lips side to side. Bring your lips inward and then move the mouth. Good. And you can create a kiss or an owl. Move them a little bit side to side and feel how you're flexing the cheekbones, the muscles are above them. Creating more lift. A lift in the face. All right, release. And I have prepared my oil. This is not essential, but I love it. It's a tourmaline stone. And you can apply a little bit of oil on your neck and just massage down the neck with the fingertips, or you can do it the whole palm. Now you can pause the video and wash your hands, obviously that's really important and because I'm such a professional and I don't like edit, creating cuts in a video, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it <laughs> and then suffer the consequences or maybe not. So I can feel my lymph here when I go down the neck, I can actually feel certain lymph that needs a little extra work. You're going to feel it if there is a lymph, there are lymph nodes or lymph areas where they are not drained properly. Today you can go a little extra over them, I'm not applying heavy pressure, very light pressure opposite side. That is going to allow you to drain all the gunk that's collecting in the face and it's kind of not cute to carry around a bunch of toxic sludge in the face we need to drain it and the lymphatic system unlike the circulatory system does not have a pump so we actually have to either work out or do massages in order to pump the lymph so two fingers behind to in front of the ear and bring it down Okay, so here we are moving again all the lymph that is in 
the head and neck out of the head and neck you can bring your knuckles and lower down also they're clean <laughs> I'm using amazing, an amazing oil. I'll list it below. Flower vitamin C oil. Okay, so now you're going to bring your thumbs up underneath the cheek bone. So starting from here, up and out and down. So up, out, not heavy pressure, light pressure. <sighs> Let's tap right above the collarbone, tap again, gently tapping, stimulating the drainage. Everything feels very rejuvenated already. All right, so this one is a really good one and you can do it every single day. You're going to press your bottom lip forward so that you're really flexing the muscles right underneath the chin. So this really helps with lymphatic drainage and usefulness of the skin, everything draining and also chiseling the, uh, a little bit the neck and jaws. So press your bottom lip a little forward and slap around. <laughs> 30 times. This should feel really, really good. All right, and now slap the cheeks. That I remember really well from Russian friends. It was just a thing that women do in certain countries. And I had friends from Russia that do it, especially when applying skin care. Really stimulates the blood flow and keeps the muscles and the skin worked out. All right, bring your fingertips above the eyebrows and lift up into the hair and connect the fingertips at the top of the head. This again should feel phenomenal. The thumb is right above the ear and you're going to lift everything up and pause here. Lift everything up and pause here. Ooh. Lift everything up and oh <laughs> it just feels far too good lift everything up pause lift everything up pause lift everything up pause by the way i'm planning to do just facial yoga and facial massage on my second channel it's called a life it's Ali life, a play on Ali life. And there I'll do a lot of more of those without the yoga, just the face. So subscribe there so that you're getting those notifications. Now at the base of the head skull and lifting up. So glide the fingers on the scalp, on the skin and feel the massage. This is bringing circulation all along the head. It's really good also for improving memory and all the mind processes, freshness of the thoughts. Now, give me little circular motions. Should we do a little bit of weight lifting? So you can bring your fingertips right on kind of lip level on the cheeks and try to lift the muscles that are above the cheekbones. Try to lift them, so flexing them. You can try on one side so you know 
you're flexing you can tap the muscles and lift and lift and lift lift and hold so that's like weight lifting for the face and smile and bring your tongue out and on the top lip and really flex the muscles very good all right after looking silly for for the last exercise but it does feel good sometimes the, well the face feels the same as the body if it's not stretched it feels a little stiff and kind of not as good so lower down onto your back there is no anti-aging session without plow if you're not able to do plow you can do half plow where your body is off the floor and if even this is too much you can just have your legs up a wall otherwise full plow it's really good for scoliosis too for the health of the spine the thyroid memory enhancing and it helps the circulation and shoulder stand same the ultimate anti-aging pose and lower back down, plow slowly coming out feet on the ground let's take the tailbone on there so it's a pelvic tilt and you can lift side to side mula banda engaging so we're sealing off the whole session with another anti-aging pose all right so without the hip swinging just extend the tailbone release pelvic, pelvic tilt release pelvic tilt as if you're scooping something with the lower belly in the Elvis. Good. So also the feet together, let the feet drop out. coming out of this let's bring the elbows down top of the head down and lion pose so you can stick your tongue out which again is very rejuvenating for the entire face 
open your mouth as wide as you can really stretch every muscle in your face and stretch your tongue as hard as you can as well very good all right roll onto your side come up to sit it and inhale the hands over the head exhale them over the third eye over the lips and over the heart sealing the benefits of the practice today and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion and love Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today and practicing with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm very grateful for our community, for our growing community, and I will see you soon with the next class. Let me know what you would like me to do next. Post your suggestions and ideas for classes, titles, etc. below. What would you like to practice? Um, what kind of poses you would like to practice in the coming classes and have a beautiful gorgeous day and remember to flow with strength and ease